What is up? Happy Friday. Let me start this off with a question to all of you. What's in your beard today? What have you been sporting this week? What are you looking forward to wearing this weekend? Comment below what you have in the beard. For me, I am wearing Autumn Bear today by Lone Bear Beards. And that's who this review is going to be on today. And this review is sponsored by Geico. Wait, I, for some reason I just always wanted to say like this episode is sponsored by or, you know, back in the home improvement days, like, you know, this is sponsored by Binford Tools. You know, I've just always wanted to do that. There's really no sponsor. It's me. It's you. It's Maddie. It's all of you watching and thumbsing up and sharing and subscribing and hit the bell. You see how I did that there? I just reminded you subliminally by telling you you help by subscribing, hitting the bell and the thumbs up. And it got you thinking in your head, like, make sure I'm subscribed. If I'm new here, I should subscribe to this guy because he's kind of funny and he subliminally reminds... See, and now I just did it again. Anyway, today we got the week-long journey with Lone Bear Beards, and we're going to give you the rundown, the FRS rating, my final thoughts on the company, the oil, the balm, and what they're doing for charity right here. See, right here? See how I did that? I put it back here so you guys can see it. What they're doing for charity this week and how you can help them out. So if you haven't seen the unboxing video, the unboxing from Monday is up above in a card here. You can just hit that little I got I that little I icon, the little I icon. And you can go back and watch the unboxing. If you haven't liked it yet, make sure you like it because a dollar per like is going to breast cancer awareness awareness, their local chapter down there in Missouri. So that starts us off with telling you a little bit about the company. And on Monday we unboxed them, we gave them initial FRS rating of 7.9. Where do you think they're going to come in after this review? Go ahead, comment that down below. Give give us your best shot when the video is over. Maybe somebody will have got it right. So let's start with the company. Lone Bear Beards is a pretty small batch Etsy shop type company out of Missouri. And the owners, Keith and Cindy, are fantastic people. Uh, when I first started this review game and started getting into beard products, they were the first company that gave me a shot, wanted to send their stuff out. They're the first company I did a live stream with. I've just had a relationship with them ever since. They're also Christians, so we continue to have that bond and those conversations uh, when we're in times of needs. And you know, I've seen them do some Bible studies together. It's prompted Maddie and I to do some Bible studies together. So just that ongoing friendship and, and brother and sisterhood that we have developed over this last year has really been fantastic. And so I thank Keith and Cindy for that. Now, with that being said, Keith is also very comical. And if you haven't seen any of his Instagram lives, usually you end up laughing uh, in that scenario. So they started making beard oils and they had this recipe and they like to get everything as local as they possibly can. They use essential oils. And I think maybe they're dabbling a little bit into fragrance oils, but for the time being, everything's done with essential oils. So you get a good quality feel, you get good quality local source products, and and their balm is actually won an award on a website, howtobeard.com, I believe it is. If I'm wrong, I'll put it in the description below, but I believe it's howtobeard.com. They won best balm. And we'll talk about that a little bit more when we get into the bombs here. So let's start this off talking about their oils. So I've had some of their oils for a while now, done a review with them before, so this is the second time, but they launched a new scent called Autumn Bear. So here you can see Autumn Bear right here. Autumn Bear. And you have these pretty nice labels. You got the Autumn kind of scenery in the background. You got the, their, their logo here. It says Autumn Bear, and then you have a scent profile, which is just pumpkin spice, but that's not what's in it. it it's They say it's pumpkin spice, but it, to me it just, I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's pumpkin spice. It's, it's the spices you would put into pumpkin pie. You got clove, you got cinnamon, you got the uh, their likes there. And it is pretty spicy, and it gives you that autumn spicy scent. Like when you're walking into Grandma's kitchen, she's cooking. There's not really much sweetness to it. It is uh, spicy. I like a little bit of spice. So if you like clove, you like cinnamon, pepper, things like that, you're going to dig that scent. And for me, I really just like the way uh, that it felt. I'm going to give you a closer look on the bottles here in a second. But we also, I've tested out Noble Bear for them. 
And this is called, uh, a crisp cologne. And to me, when I sell, smell this one, it's, it's not my favorite one. It smells um, kind of like, like Irish Spring Soap to me. And they've got that before. Um, but it's a, a very masculine, not sweet type cologne. So it's kind of, it, it, it punches you in the face. It's going to hit you in the face when you put it on. Um, but it's probably one of the longer lasting scents that they have. And then the other one that I have from them is, is Panda Bear. So here you see the Panda Bear. And I, I like Panda Bear. To me, Panda Bear, well, what do they label it as? Mandarin Orange. And that's just what you get 100%. Panda Bear and Sun Bear are probably my two favorite. Sun Bear uh, is the yellow one. And they have quite a few different ones. And they have a nice little sample pack, too, where you can get them all. And I really appreciate that from them as well. So when we look at their oils, we have this amazing panda on the front of their, their labels. Now, these labels are not waterproof. Um, they're kind of uh, flat, paperish uh, labels here. And right now on their carrier oils, you have jojoba oil, argan oil, organic sweet almond oil, and organic coconut oil. And then they use essential oils as well. So when we take a look at the oil here, I mean, you have your classic dripper, uh, amber bottle. Oil doesn't, I mean, it, it, it looks like oil. It doesn't set you apart any different. It's a it's a lighter, uh, thinner oil, and they are changing their their carrier blend to increase, to include castor oil. So they're going to be castor oil. It's going to get a little bit thicker, but it's something where Keith didn't like thick beard oils, and uh, he tried castor oil as part of their carrier oil blend once, and he really, really dug the way that it felt. And so they're actually changing their whole carrier blend uh, to make sure that they have some castor oil in there. And that's going to start basically with anything new that they're making from this week forward is going to have that uh, carrier oil blend in it. So uh, for all these orders coming in this weekend, most likely you're going to get that carrier blend. But I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be um, alarmed if you didn't. Uh, maybe just reach out to them on Instagram or through their shop and uh, just see uh, if that scent that you're going to order has the new carrier blend if that's what you're looking for or if you're looking for the old carrier blend just go ahead and ask them about that one too you know just hit it up so for the oils that i have to test and based on what i know about them all what it does in my beard is i my beard really really likes coconut oil so it makes it really soft and the oil lasts all day i don't have to reapply oil and that's something that i really like because in this climate there is times where by 5 o'clock at night, I'm starting to get itchy, and I need to get some beard oil in there. It's really drying out. But uh, their oil lasts all day for me. It's a one-application oil, uh, which I really like. The downside is the scent. The scent duration is not very long, and it's that way because of essential oils. So if they start dabbling into fragrance oils more, we might see a scent increase uh, in duration, which would be uh, really awesome in my book. As far as their scent profiles, I think there's something for everybody. Uh, most of them are your traditional type uh, essential oil blends. So you're going to have like a citrus, you're going to have like a minty one. Um, but they have some really unique ones too, like Noble Bear is pretty unique. Um, Autumn Bear is also really unique. It's more of a spicy scent, not a sweet pumpkin pie. It's a spice, the spices that go in. So they come up with some pretty crazy things. And I think Cindy's the mastermind behind that. So I think she comes up with the scents. Keith try, wears them and tries them out, and he gives it the, yep, this is great, or you know, let's go back and tweak it a little bit. And I think that's pretty cool, husband and wife team coming up with these things. So as far as the oil goes, my advice and my feedback for them would be I like to see it like a little bit more vibrant of labels. Um, I think the coloring is good, and you can see how they've changed over time. This is an older one, and Autumn Bear is a newer one, so they have some background on there. So it shows me that they're looking to improve and looking to change things. I guess I would just like to see the glossy type labels that just pop just a little bit more. Um, they, they stand out a little bit more, but I really do like the, their logo on there um, and the font that they're using. It's gotten a lot better and a lot easier to read. Um, I just tend to like something that's going to pop out and be a little brighter uh, on the beard shelf. So the overall FRS for the oils I'm giving them is 8.3. They feel really good. That's what matters. They could look a little bit better, and that's what kind of attracts new customers 
and makes you want to wear it, pick it up off your beard shelf. So there's a little bit of marketing there that I think they can improve upon, uh, but the feel in the beard is really good, and I think with that new carrier blend, you all are going to be happy with that. And then we talk about the award winner. The award winner, the award winner right here is their balm. So here you can see the Autumn Bear Balm. Again, you have that really cool label, and you have organic Missouri beeswax. So they get this local right down the road from them. And then you have organic shea butter, organic jojoba oil, organic coconut oil, organic sweet almond oil, and essential oils. So with the organic beeswax that they get right down the road from them, you get this really crazy dark gold yellow scent. And I think it looks really, it actually looks really awesome. Uh, I have I got jet black hair, so if all you white beard or gray beard guys are going to say, does it dye your beard? I have no idea. But I mean, unless it dyes your beard black, I wouldn't know. So I'm going to say no because Keith has some gray in his beard, just so you know. Keith's got some gray in his beard, and I don't see him walking around with a gold beard. But this is your heavy hold balm. If you like a heavy hold balm, this is right down your aisle. You can shake it. You can hear it rattle on the tin. Um, it takes some effort to get out of here. I can't just go like this and get it out. As you can see, nothing's really happening. I'm getting a little bit. But you got to get your nail. I'm putting quite a bit of pressure in here. you got to get your nail up in there to get some out. But, but... I like a hard hold balm, so it's a winner in my book. But it doesn't take a lot to melt. So as you're doing this, it just melts down real quick. It's not like a clumpy, you got to uh, to get it to go. It melts down really nice. So you got a hard hold balm that melts down in your hands fairly easy. I would say it's on the easier side than anything. But what you really get from it Especially you guys that like a hard hold balm, what you really get from it is that holding power and that coating power to coat your beard, hold it in place, and make it just feel good. It softens it, and it also seals everything in. So you're locking the moisture in uh, with this balm. Again, something I could put on in the morning. Scent would fade, again, with essential oils. But throughout the day, my beard stayed in place. There's a couple times I went out. And I was like, oh, for sure my beard's going to look all crazy pants now. And it stayed in place. I really liked it, but it doesn't feel like when you touch it, it's not like, oh, my beard is like stuck, locked in place. But when I, I touch it, it just feels nice and soft. It feels good. Uh, but it doesn't really do much when I mess around with it. It kind of just goes. And I really like that with a balm. And you have good ingredients. You got good scents. My only real knock on the balm would be, and, and this is part of using a local, like organic beeswax, shea butter type stuff, is they're they're kind of strong scented. So my only like downside I'd really say with the balm is when I smell it, I do get that beeswax uh, scent, which to me I'm not a fan of. I just don't like that scent for some reason. It just it, like it reminds me of band aids or or something. I don't know what it reminds me of, but for some reason band aids pop into my head. Yeah, definitely. But you can still smell the autumn bear in here really, really nice. And when you get it up in your beard and you spread it around, you you kind of lose that scent of the beeswax and, and the autumn bear comes out. So but that would be my only my only downside because I tend to don't I tend to like balms where I can smell the scent and not the, the waxes or, or the butters in there. But I do like the, the two ounce twist top. I like the label on the back with the ingredients. There it goes flying, jumping out of my hands. I like the front label. Again, same situation as the oils. I would really like to see that label a little bit shinier, um, something to stand out so it's not that black or that flat, like printed at home um, type look. But again, labels are improving throughout time. So from the last time I reviewed them until now, the labels have stepped it up a notch or three or four, quite a bit. We'll just say they stepped it up quite a bit. What do you guys think? Comparing uh, the first uh, rendition of the label to the latest rendition like looks a lot better uh, when they have a background on there don't you guys think comment below and let me know so with the balm I love the hold I love the feel I love the ingredients the scent profile is right about there it matches the oil you just get a little bit of that balm and my only ding really on the FRS rating would be because of the design with the label and because of the scent with the wax and then the scent duration. So overall, four bombs from Lone Bear Beard. We are giving them an FRS rating today of 
zero. Nine point zero. And I mentioned earlier they did win an award, right? So they won a bomb award from howtobeard.com. And I'm not the only one that thinks it's a 9.0. Obviously, they do too, and a bunch of other people do as well. So if you haven't tried out their bomb, and you're still a bomb guy, I still like my hard hole bombs. Still like my light hole bombs. I still think bombs have a place. I really enjoy them. I hope you guys uh, do too. This kind of uncovered bombs again for me. Like how good they can feel. What a good bomb is like. So I think Lone Bear's got some really good bombs there. Now as far as anything else, that's about all they really have uh, to offer. But, but, they are releasing a nighttime butter. And I say nighttime butter because it's going to be scented for nighttime. It's going to be meant to wear at night to hydrate your beard, keep that moisture locked in overnight, right? So they are coming out with a nighttime butter. And we are, and I say we, because we're working together on a new scent for them that I'm testing out mixing it all up we're trying to get it just right and we'll launch the butter and the scent together in the very near future just not quite ready this week yet but we wanted to do this review this week because autumn bear is out and as i mentioned in my unboxing they have the beanies they have the lone bear hat and they have these shirts so here you can see the back and you can see the front so it is breast cancer Awareness Month, as most of you probably know. And for every hat, beanie, shirt that they sell, they're donating $5 to Breast Cancer Awareness. I think that's pretty cool, and that's a, one of the reasons why I really wanted to review them and why I wanted to do this is to get some publicity for Breast Cancer Awareness. We also have these cool stickers that I love from them as well. Now's the time to purchase from Lone Bear. Get yourself a cool-looking bear with a purple or a pink ribbon shirt, hat, and help them donate $5 per item to breast cancer awareness. So then we rate the company. Since there's no other products, we rate the company. And I rate the company based on communication, which I think is fantastic. You can get there, you can get a hold of them really anytime you want. Um, we rate them on design, which I like their design. I just wish the labels were a little bit different as far as texture, look, and feel. Um, and then their website, they're still selling on Etsy. Um, Etsy's so 2018, right? It's 2018 or 2017. It's something along there. Etsy's getting to be outdated for some of these uh, beard companies, and we see a lot of them switching to Shopify. I think there's a reason why everybody is kind of trying to get off of Etsy a little bit. And then we rank it on their selection. Now, they don't have a lot of selection of products. Uh, you got your oil, you got your balm, you got some chapstick, you got stickers, you got hats, shirts, butter coming. Um, but there's not like a wash, co-wash, or things like that. So we, we have that all figured out and, and ranked out. But there is a wide variety of scents. They have a pretty decent amount of scents for a younger type company. So we add all that stuff up. We divide it out till we give them an FRS rating. So their overall FRS rating is... Wait, we started at 79 after trying out the products again, we're coming back and we're giving them a final FRS. So I hope you got your guess in below because we're coming in at 8.8. 8.8 8 on the FRS scale. That's like a tornado. Like if it was a 5.0 on, or was it an earthquake? That's like a 5.0 on the Richter scale. They're an 8.8 .8 .8 on the faithful scale. I think that that is pretty good. I think it's it's on point with everybody else. It's a little bit higher than some. I think there's they're right there to get above that nine, just a few simple little things. The majority of what their stuff got docked for was the label. And so I think if they improve that, got their website over onto Etsy, um, and then got their sense to last a little bit longer with this new carrier bond, I think they're gonna well above a nine. So let's see what the changes they make. You be the judge. Are they 8.8 .8 or do you think they're worth a little bit higher than that? Are they a little bit lower? You let me know. But we have a discount code for you. So you can go on over there, get yourself one of these shirts, a hat, help them donate to Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and then go ahead and try out their products. And you can use Faithfully15 to get 15% off. And I'll put that down in the description below so you, so you have it, right? I mean, you can't just remember it. Sometimes when people say it, you like to see it in the description so you can copy it and paste it on the Etsy shop and check out and make sure you're getting the discount. I mean, that's what I like to do anyway. My clipboard is full of discount codes because every time I, I watch a video, I need a discount code. It's like a thing. We bring, we make videos and we bring you a discount code. So that's about it for Lone Bear. 
an amazing week with two amazing people with amazing products. If you haven't tried Lone Bear yet, let me tell you, you're missing out. If you have tried Lone Bear, go ahead and comment below and let people know what you think of Lone Bear. I also have a question for you. What scent is something that you would like to see made? A beard oil scent that you would like to see made. Comment that below. The one that gets the most likes is going to win something on Sunday night on the live stream. So comment below what your creation would be. And the one that gets the most likes is going to win something. So if you get the most likes, make sure you're on the live stream Sunday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And we're going to make you a winner. Pretty interactive and fun, right? Yeah. All you got to do is comment below. I, I told you to comment like four times. There's plenty of conversation to be had. I asked you like four things, like what's in beard? What's your favorite scent? What do you think of this? So it's your time to go on down below. Make sure you're subscribed, hit that thumbs up, that bell so you know anytime I put out some new content. Keep scrolling down and thumbs up some people's comments of what you think would smell good, what you agree with, and then type down there what you think would be an amazing scent for one of these companies to make. Don't forget, there's companies that see this stuff, so maybe you'll give a company an idea. So until I... Talk to you Sunday night on the live stream. I hope you all will join me. Bring a friend. Bring a spouse. Bring... Man, I had nothing to rhyme with that. Bring anybody you want. Bring your coffee. Bring your bang. But the most important part of the day, stroke your lone bear field man-man. And God bless you all.